Okay, so hello friends. Today our topic is the tracheoesophageal fistula. So what is fistula? Fistula is an abnormal passage. Okay, so abnormal passage between trachea and esophagus. Okay, so here this this is the suppose this is esophagus. And this is the let's draw this is the trachea so there will be a presence of a passage now there are there are five types of tracheoesophageal fistula let's learn one by one so first one is type a okay type a so here this is the esophageal upper end and this is the esophageal lower end okay <coughs> and let's take this is the trachea so there is no communication between esophagus and the trachea but you can see that two separate end of esophagus are there so this is called type a or atresia okay next one is the type b tracheoesophageal fistula here uh, let's draw the trachea So here upper end of the esophagus will communicate to the trachea but the lower end will not communicate okay so upper end communicates okay next one is type C in type C let's draw this is the trachea here the lower end will communicate lower end of esophagus will communicate to the trachea but upper end will not so this is type c where the lower end of esophagus communicates okay next is type D. In type D, let's take this is the trachea. Okay, so here both the end will communicate. Okay, so both the end will communicate. So here the upper and lower both ends of esophagus. communicates with trachea okay next is type E okay type E here uh, let's take this is the trachea okay so in this condition <coughs> there will be only one end of the esophagus communicating to the trachea okay and not presence of two ends only one end and that is the continuous esophagus and where only one communication to the trachea so this is type e okay so now come to the investigation of choice so investigation choice is contrast study okay and investigation choice for age type is combined tracheo iso phagoscopy okay now come to the management so management are uh, management is based on the Watterson criteria so water so first is management so Watterson's criteria in this classification or in this criteria we see the birth weight and presence or absence of pneumonia 
okay so birth weight and presence of absence of pneumonia if the birth weight of the baby is greater than 2.5 kg and there is presence of pneumonia then we will do definitive we will do the surgery definitive surgery is done okay next uh, if the birth weight is between 1.5 to 2.5 kg and there is presence or absence of pneumonia then we give antibiotics and build up nutrition for few days okay so nutrition for few days okay and then we go for surgery and last is if birth weight is less than 1.5 kg then and absence or presence of pneumonia we antibiotic give antibiotics or we do gastrostomy gastrostomy okay now how do we do the surgery so surgery is called thoracotomy okay the procedure is and this surgery is called for type for type b c d and e we do the cameron eight surgery okay and procedure is so let's suppose this is the trachea okay and let's take this is the upper end of esophagus and this is the communicating end so we'll do what we'll do we'll cut here so we'll first is cut the fistula okay so let's cut it then what we'll do we'll repair that area so next process is repairing and we'll next step is anastomosis so we connect the esophagus again so there it is the connection we are connecting the esophagus again so this is the procedure of the surgery so that's it the whole lecture of tracheoesophageal fistula so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button okay, and please do subscribe my channel subscribe my channel